Welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about the entrepreneurial mindset and how to get your message out to your customers, how to know what your customer wants, and how to make them your raving fans, as well as the knowledge and skills you need as an entrepreneur to save you time, money, and be more productive in your business. So welcome. Welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies, and I'm Jane Gardner, and today is Strategy Sunday, so welcome. You can find us at jane-gardner.com backslash SSS, or you can try jgtips.com backslash program to find where to go to find all of a solopreneur success strategies. So welcome. Today is Strategy Sunday. And on Strategy Sunday, we talk about business strategy. So we'll be doing that in a minute. But first, let's introduce myself. I'm Jane Gardner. I work with my husband in our structural engineering firm for the last 20 years. And we live over in Western Canada, and we have our own home office, and uh, we work together, and we have dogs and cats, and I'm an artist, and there you go. So, you know a little bit about me, and so welcome to Strategy Sunday. So, for uh, those of you who don't know, uh, Strategy Sunday is all about strategy, And also I have a a seven days a week. I have Solopreneur Success Strategy shows. Monday is Mindset Monday. Tuesday is Get Your Message Out Tuesday about your messaging. Wednesday is about your customer with World Domination Wednesday. Thursday is Jack or Jill of All Trades where we talk about the skills and knowledge you need as an entrepreneur. Friday is Freebie Friday where we talk about free software in your business. And Saturday is System Saturday, where we talk about some systems in your business you can add so it frees up your time or do more work and more free time with your family. But today is Strategy Sunday. And I'll just give you an overview of what we have been discussing and will be discussing. Uh, we will be have discussed what you should find out, what your vision is for you and your business and what your goals are for the first, the third, and the fifth year of your business because this will define what kind of business that you want to have. And we talked uh, briefly about that in terms of how it affects you in terms of designing your business. And then we also looked at um, some of the financial aspects of what you know what your goal is and how to work back from there in the last few episodes. And today we're going to be talking about some of the business models you might be thinking about. And uh, then after that, we'll be talking about uh, your business plan and how to put some of the vision together for your business to put it all together. We'll go over some of the things you need today. And then we'll be looking at business trends in 2016 and how they all affect your strategy in the coming years. For example, Uh, Last year, 2015, uh, Google Search decided that they were going to make their Google um, mobile friendly. And as you know, 80% of people probably have mobile phones. So this is one of the new trends you have to remember to consider when doing your business strategy, for example. But for today, we're going to be having a look at your business strategy in terms of your goal and your vision. So let's have a look at what we went over. Uh, Well, last week, of course. Um, But first I want to say that your business is like a stream. It flows. It can trickle. It can change direction. It can surge. It can get blocked. But it can never go back in time. So you always have to move forward in your business. But you always have to be flexible. So... To keep up on the trainings, you can go to http colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash YouTube, or you can go to jgtips.com backslash ssunday, which is the current page on my website for the show. And as I mentioned, 
excuse me, uh, your business is like a stream and it always has to be moving forward. So we had a look at the vision and your goals in the last couple of episodes. And now we're going to be looking at some of the financial areas. We looked last time at your financial goals. For example, if you had a one-year goal to make $100,000, to make that goal, you would need at least $8,333 a month or $1,923 a week or $25,000 per quarter. And, of course, you don't get this usually on an even uh, distribution of money, but uh, this gives you a rough idea of the kind of um, money that you need in order to get $100,000. And then we had a just a rough idea on how much you would need in order to make uh, $250,000, $500,000, and a million dollars with one source of revenue for the million dollars, so you would need $83,000 a month. And then we looked at if you combined uh, three different uh, types of revenue, you could easily make $27,500 per month. If you only had one source of revenue, you would make $8,333 per month. So there is a certain uh, focus that you should have in terms of thinking of some of the diverse revenues that you can have coming into your business is basically what the point is was last week. Um, not that, of course, you're going to get even amounts of any uh, monies each week, but it's uh, good to have a general idea if you had a consistent flow of money, how you could uh, create uh, the revenue you would need to make $100,000 or a million dollars, for example. So we had a look at that last week, and then we are looked at what I consider to be the model that you should be considering uh, in terms of your business model, uh, the diverse business model, where you have at least um, two or three sources of income revenue coming into your business so that you have... uh, the model uh, for a business that is called diverse so that you can have uh, the kind of income that you need without working as hard. Uh, For example, of course, if you had a a $97 product in order to make um, $100,000, you would need uh, a lot more uh, sales per month than if you had a uh, $997 per month uh, sale uh, each to make the 100000 So it, we can have a look at the last uh, show about that. And so thinking that, first off, that we're going to consider the diverse business model and maybe have at least two sources of revenue. Uh, let's have a look at some of the things you have to think about when designing your business model. So when you're designing a business model for your business, if you have no idea or of which one you want to get into, um, some of the things that you will need to think about in order to create a business plan that will um, be reflective of a good model for a business, you have to look at your value propositions for your business. You have to look at what the values will be, what the mission will be, what is the goals for the business, Uh, What is um, basically what uh, is the reason for the business? And then you need to look at uh, who your customers are, so your target customer segments. You have to go and figure out your ideal customer. You know, look at your competitors and see what they're doing as well. And then figure out how you're going to distribute your um, whatever you are going to be selling, whether it's a product or a service. And then you have to look at your customer relationships, how you're going to be able to serve your customers within the business. Do you have a customer service model uh, to put in there as well? And then you have a look at some of your core capabilities of your business and maybe some partners that you might be able to have in terms of uh, your network that can help you grow your business. And, of course, what your costs will be for your operations and what your revenue model will be and we'll look at revenue models at an in another episode but those are just some of the things you have to think about when you're designing a business model for your company 
And then you have to think about, okay, well, what kind of business model do you envision that will match your goals for your lifestyle business? For example, do you want to work two hours a day for five days a week, which is the 10-hour week? Do you want to work six hours a day for four days a week for a 24-hour week? Or do you want to work eight hours a day for five days a week for a 40-hour week? So looking at your goals and your vision that you did on your worksheets uh, a few weeks ago, you can figure out, well, okay, I can work um, in the hours when my children are at school. So that's what, four or five hours a day. And then maybe I can do some follow-up uh, on my uh, phone while they're here. But uh, I'm sort of limited by the number of hours that I can work. Or maybe you just don't want to work that many hours or your health doesn't allow you to work that many hours, like eight hours a day for five days a week. So you have to think about all these things before you even start thinking about what kind of business model you envision to match your goals for your lifestyle business because it will affect uh, what kind of business that you can do. So there's um, many ways to do business as there are many business models. So you have to consider um, you have an idea of what kind of business you'd like to do and you've heard that it um, might be profitable to, to do or you have a product that you would like to sell or you have a service that you think you'll be able to uh, sell. You want to have a look at the business model that you might be able to use to do it. So for example, some of the various business models that could be, and we'll look at a few of them that I think might be relevant, especially on the internet, is what they call a bricks and clicks uh, business where they have the, you can go on the internet to buy something and then pick it up at the store, or you can um, do direct sales, or you can be a value added reseller, uh, you can be a uh, fee in and free out model, a franchise. You can have a freemium business. You can pay what you can or you can pay what you want. Usually that's for a charity. You can have a loyalty business. You can do online auction model. You can have affiliate marketing model. You can do an online content business model or you can be an online educator model business or it can be a premium business model, or a subscription business model, or a coaching business model, and on and on and on. Uh, so next week, I thought I would uh, have a look at some of the common, as well as some of the less common, for those of you who want to try and um, are limited by their um, their work, the ability to work, some of the common business models that you might want to consider when um designing yourself a business on the internet. So before you can decide on your business model, you have to decide on what you want your lifestyle business to be in terms of your goals and visions for the business. Um, you need to have the business model uh, work with your lifestyle. You don't make your lifestyle fit the business model because that is not where your passion is, for example, and certainly it will be stressful and challenging and you won't be too happy because your lifestyle isn't fitting the, what you thought would be your business. So it's better to first look at your lifestyle that you want for your business and then figure out the business model that you'll be able to work with in order to do that lifestyle business. So if you haven't done it yet, I have the, um, you can do your purpose, vision, and legacy uh, worksheet. I have at http colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash s sunday. And you can figure out your purpose, your vision, and your legacy that you want to leave to this world. And you can put down your uh, five year goal, three year, and one year goal for your business and your family, your life and your monetary goals for your business in there. And then we can have a look next week at some of the business models that are common on the internet and the pros and cons of each business in terms of your lifestyle. And then to catch up with the Strategy Sunday trainings and the rest of the week, uh, go to Solopreneur Success Strategies playlist 
on my YouTube channel at http colon backslash backslash jgtips dot com backslash YouTube. So this was just a brief idea that there are a lot of business models that you can do in terms of um, looking at your goals and vision for your lifestyle business. And I know a lot of people would like to do a laptop lifestyle business, and you need to be able to understand um, what the kind of hours are required in order to do business. And certainly after the first year startup anyway, which is usually the hardest year for working, um, you need to have an idea of how many hours you think you'll be working in your business in order to figure out what kind of business that you want to do and how you want to leverage it and um, how you want to maybe partner in terms of uh, light partnering with others in order to gain more uh, knowledge as well as gain more uh, customers at the same time as building relationships with other people to grow a bigger network. So this is just a brief idea on some of the things that we'll be doing. Uh, next week we'll have some ideas on some of the business models there are and then it compare them to the lifestyle that you might like to have. So this is Jane Gardner at jane-gardner.com and I'd like to thank you for listening at Solopreneur Success Strategies TV.com and please feel free to subscribe on my YouTube channel at jgtips.com backslash YouTube and you'll get notified as each show as it comes on each day so that you can get a chance to go there and, and listen to whichever ones you feel are relevant. Although all of them are relevant, of course. In terms of building a business, you have to know about your mindset and your customer and your uh, how to do your social media, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So <laughs> it's all of basically about uh, being an entrepreneur on your own in, in your business. This is Solopreneur Success Strategies. Thank you for listening. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed and got some value out of our Solopreneur Success Strategies podcast today. And if you'd like to learn more about me, you can go over to jane-gardner.com backslash SSS, or please leave a review or just come and check me out. That would be great. Come and say hi at jane-gardner.com backslash SSS. I also have a TV show you're welcome to listen to as well over there. Thank you.